when should you do lookalike audiences? 50 plus purchases. So this is a question from Renan Torora. Great video, I have a couple of questions. One, can you please tell us when to do lookalike audiences? Two, when do you create a custom audience before you do LAA right? Uh, when is the best time to do custom audience? Is it when you get at least 50 purchase or more? What are the metrics we should check before we create custom audience? Thanks man, hope you could help with this question. So that's a pretty Awesome question, Reno. So I'm gonna go straight to it and answer your first question. When should you do lookalike audiences? 50 plus purchases. I've recommended this in the past. Why? Because by the time you have 50 plus purchases, you should have had thousands and thousands of views on your video ad. If it's a photo ad, you should have a bunch of engagement and that's enough to do lookalike audience on. Even though you might not have enough data because you need more than 100 to do lookalike audiences on purchases, but you will have enough data to make lookalike audience for three second views all the way up to 95% views. So question two, we do custom audience before we do lookalike audience, right? Yep, that's correct. You wanna make your custom audience before you make your LLAs. When is the best time to do a custom audience? So you wanna make the custom audience once you think the video has potential because you know it takes 15 minutes doing the custom audience from three seconds all the way up to purchase. So it does take 15 to 20 minutes. So you only bother to do it once you're getting two, three, four sales and you know the product is quite profitable, and might have a chance to scale. Is it when you do this? Yep, so yes you make the custom audience before your lookalike audience and your lookalike audience actually gets updated as your custom audience grows. So I'm gonna give a golden nugget here. Despite Facebook saying that the lookalike audiences always update, I found that if you make a lookalike audiences when you had 100 add to carts and now you have 300 add to carts, I found that when I remade the lookalike audience, I was able to get more sales from the new audience. So Facebook saying the lookalike audience always changes as you get more and more data. I think it's better just to remake because you get a new batch of people and that's how you refresh lookalike audiences and get more money for that one product. Three, what metrics should you check before you make custom audience? So you wanna aim to have 300 plus of anything you're making. So before you make a lookalike audience for say 95% views, you wanna make sure you have more than 300 95% views on your ad video before making the 95% lookalike audience. Another example, if you want to make a lookalike audience for view content, you want to wait until you get more than 300 view contents. Now, is this contradicting me saying that you want to wait until you get more than 50 purchases to make LLAs because I just said more than 300? No, a lot of people get confused. When I say more than 50 purchases, that means you're not making lookalike audiences for purchase because that's not enough. At 50 plus purchases, that product would have enough data and views for its videos to make lookalike audiences for three seconds all the way up to view content. And you might even have 300 plus add to carts. That's pretty low because that means one in six add to carts would actually purchase. Usually the percent is actually much higher. So it would actually have, you know, roughly around 150 add to carts. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I meant by 50 plus purchases. So yeah, I hope that answered your question, Renan. If you have any other questions, just drop it in the comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible or just message me on my Facebook group. I'll definitely clarify anything else if you're not too sure. And if anyone else has any questions, just drop it in the comment below and I'll probably make one of these videos just for you, tailored for you. Also, don't forget to join my Facebook group, e-commerce legacy. Link is in the description. The group is getting really, really active. Everyone's helping each other out. I'm starting to post like tips on scaling, Instagram, influencer every week I'm gonna give a long post of tips and strategies that I've collected throughout my drop shipping time so definitely join my Facebook group so last but not least don't forget to like the video and subscribe because I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow peace